Hey guys, today's video is a butterfly progression drill to help you work on being lower in your stroke, especially for a sprint race. The first step is just simple underwater dolphin kicks. This step helps you figure out how big your kicks should be. As you can see, I'm doing kicks that are way too big here and my entire body is moving. The correct way is to keep your shoulders and streamlined arms as still as possible and do snappy kicks starting from the core and hips, continuing down through your toes. The second step is using that same small snappy kick while doing one arm fly. This one arm fly step is different than a drill for your arms. For this step, breathe to the side and keep your arm as low to the water as possible. Keeping your other arm straight under the water, do just one arm for each length and focus on adding in those arm strokes with the snappy kick we just worked on. Before this third step, I want to mention that if you're one of those magicians who can somehow use a snorkel for butterfly without choking on water and dying, you can definitely use one for any of these upcoming steps to help you stay lower. Unfortunately, I am not so gifted, so I won't be using one. If you can't use a snorkel either, just try not to breathe. The third step is more advanced and uses a kickboard between your legs. As you can see, if you try to do dolphin kicks or dive up and down too much, the kickboard is impossible to hold on to. Keep your hips as stationary as possible with your arms low and fast. If you guys are thinking that this step is really similar to my butterfly pull strength drill, it is, but also isn't. My pull strength drill works on the pull itself by using a pull buoy between the ankles, whereas using a kickboard between your legs up higher reduces hip movement and diving down too much. The fourth step is to keep the same arm strokes and body position as the kickboard drill, but replacing the kickboard with fast flutter kick. Again, without breathing, keep your hips up and sweep your arms quickly across the surface. If your arm comes up too high or you try to take a breath, it will be really difficult to keep your hips up at the surface, and this step will be pretty much impossible. Keeping your hips up and stationary with your arms low will help you glide across the water. The fifth and final step is adding in your strong, snappy dolphin kicks we worked on in the beginning, along with your low arms and head in regular butterfly. Adding in the dolphin kicks will add more movement into your stroke, but make sure to focus on the low arms and high hips from the previous steps so you don't fall back into the habit of big kicks. Another tip to help you stay low is to not breathe every stroke. Aim for every two strokes, or at the most, every other. Having at least one stroke where you don't breathe will help realign your body at the surface. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps your butterfly stroke. These steps would even be great to run through quickly during a race warm-up at a meet. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Bye!